Beloved, do not unquestioningly trust every spiritual influence, but rather, test these influences to discern whether they are aligned with God's will. Be cautious, for many false prophets have emerged in the world. Here's how you can recognize the presence of the Spirit of God. Any spiritual force that openly acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. On the contrary, any spiritual force that denies Jesus Christ's incarnation is not of God. It embodies the spirit of Antichrist, as forewarned, and it is already among us. Dear children of God, take heart, for you belong to him and have conquered these false influences. The one within you is far more powerful than any force in the world. The world, on the other hand, is under the sway of these false influences, so its words and teachings resonate with worldly values. As for us, we are of God, and those who truly know God will listen to our message, while those who do not belong to God will not heed our words. This discerns the spirit of truth from the spirit of deception. Beloved, let us practice love towards one another, for love emanates from God. Anyone who loves others has been born of God and knows Him. However, Anyone who does not love others does not truly know God, for God is the essence of love. God's love for us is evident in that He sent His only Son into the world, that through Him we might find life. This love is not based on our love for God, but rather on His love for us. He sent His Son as the atonement for our sins. Considering that God has loved us in this way, we must also love one another. While no one has seen God directly, when we love one another, God dwells within us, and His love is fully expressed through us. This is how we know that we abide in Him, and He in us, for He has given us His Spirit. We testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whoever openly acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God abides in God, and God in them. We have known and believed in the love that God has for us. God is love, and when we dwell in love, we dwell in God, and God dwells in us. In this way, our love becomes complete, allowing us to face the day of judgment with confidence, for we are like him in this world. Love devoid of fear expels all forms of torment. If one still fears, their love is not yet perfected. We love because God first loved us. If anyone claims to love God yet harbors hatred for their brother or sister, they deceive themselves. How can they love God, whom they have not seen? if they cannot love their brother or sister, whom they have seen. This commandment is clear. Those who love God must also love their brothers and sisters.